is the new head coach at Kansas. Miles won a national championship at LSU in 2007. NBA tonight, likely the final meeting ever in Miami between LeBron James and D. Wade as the Lakers play the Heat and the Warriors, who have lost two in a row. They'll try to bounce back in San Antonio. I'm Jeff Biggs. This is NBC Sports Radio. Giving you up to date and informed with the latest news and events from the world, Main Street, and your own backyard, here's Andrew Caravella. The sentencing of self-admitted drug abuser and former county supervisor Bill Postmas has been continued to Thursday. An attorney for Postmas has been arguing a motion in San Bernardino Superior Court to withdraw his 2011 guilty plea, claiming he was coerced into a plea bargain. But a judge Wednesday denied the motion. Prosecutors are seeking the maximum penalty. Fontana's 20-year blueprint for the future has been adopted. The city council has approved the updated general plan, capping a three-year effort. Two notable elements include the addition of a downtown area plan and a walkable mixed-use land use category. Amtrak is closing their Riverside Call Center, eliminating 550 jobs. The company announced the move in a message emailed to workers November 14th. Operations in Riverside will cease to exist January 18th. In the message, Tim Griffin, Amtrak's executive vice president and chief marketing officer, said operations in Riverside would be consolidated with its reservation center in Philadelphia. Employees, with the exception of managers, can apply for work in Philadelphia, an Amtrak representative said Thursday. Griffin's memo also noted about 90% of Amtrak's customers now book their travel online and that over the last five years, the number of calls received at contact centers has declined by close to 3 million calls. The memo did say Amtrak will sell the Riverside facility. An Amtrak spokesperson reached by phone would not respond to questions. And out in the high desert, a 17-year-old boy was arrested in Victorville after the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department said he used another person's phone to falsely report a person with a gun at a high school. Deputies responded to Silverado High School at approximately 1230 in the afternoon after receiving a call from a student about a person on the campus with a gun, according to Mara Rodriguez, a spokeswoman for the Sheriff's Department. Now, officials said no credible threat was found and deputies located the source of a phone call and traced it to a student at Silverado. After interviews, law enforcement determined that the person who made the call was not the owner of the phone. The 17-year-old was arrested and booked in the High Desert Juvenile Detention Center. Although no gun was found on the campus, law enforcement officials were wary of people making false threats. For the Inland Empire News Update, I'm Andrew Caravella. How many commercials do you hear every day claiming to be the best weight loss program ever? The only problem, you spend a lot of money, you lose the weight, you gain it back. Plus, when all it takes is adding protein to your diet, protein gives you what you need and reduces hunger. NutriPro is pure protein. It's not the newest fad. It's not the latest weight loss program, but it helps to stop those daily cravings safely. There's no magic. It's simply a two-ounce shot of protein taken twice a day, 20 grams of pure, clean protein in every shot with absolutely no carbs, no fat, and no sugar. Feel full faster and keep feeling full longer. It never requires refrigeration, mixing, or dilution. It is simply easy access to protein anytime, anywhere. But it's not available in stores. It's available directly from the manufacturer. Go to MyProteinNow.com and try a 20-count trial pack today. Go to MyProteinNow.com for a special introductory offer, including shipping. Do it right now. MyProteinNow.com. It's time to say see you later, alligator, to embarrassing and troublesome issues with your skin, nails, and hair with all-natural Cayman Alligator Oil. Cayman Oil is locally made right in Louisiana, where people have been using alligator oil for centuries to treat all kinds of ailments. A drop a day of Cayman Oil can help you say see you later, alligator, to athlete's foot, nail fungus, acne, eczema, rashes, dry skin, cuts, infections, MRSA, scars, burns, sunburns, and even ingrown hair and dandruff. If you or someone you know is tired of suffering with any of these skin, nail, and hair troubles, you need to visit mycayman.com to learn more about 100% natural, non-toxic, hypoallergenic cayman oil and get a bottle today. Say, see you later, alligator, with cayman alligator oil at mycayman.com. That's my C A I M O N dot com. My Cayman dot com. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen here on the case for truth and justice. 
with the right information to help improve the situation. I know things are going well for you because you're there. You're not, uh, you're not, not there. Uh, my point, uh, we are not with all of the same people today that were here last week at this time. Uh, we have all lost love, loved ones, people that we care about, or we're only two steps away from someone who has. Uh, my point, uh, we want to demonstrate that we care while you're still there. Uh, we uh, certainly know how to gather at memorials and at funerals and at cemeteries. And, you know, it's great to do what we did last week with our Veterans Day. Um, man, but it's so much, so much better to reach out, and let people know how much you appreciate them right now. Uh, that's a good thing to do. It'll, it'll make you feel better. Now, feel better. Man, that's important. When I say feel better, we could be talking about your emotions. We could be talking about your physicalness. Uh, let me say this. If you're in physical shape, if you're physically fit, anything else that you want to do it becomes a little easier. Uh, getting physically fit almost requires that you be mentally fit in order to approach and maintain the discipline that it takes to do that. So, so we're dealing with, you know, those two elements, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same, but they're very different. Uh, you can express your feelings without being in shape and sometimes without being in physical shape or being in mental shape. You can express yourself. That expression may be what you want it to be. It may be not what you want it to be, but it's there. It's real, and, and once it lands, uh, it takes effect. So what we say, what we do is important right now. So, uh, man, I appreciate the fact that you guys are listening. I appreciate the fact that you've uh, decided to listen. And I appreciate the fact that uh, somewhere along the line, I am surely going to say something that's either of interest to you or something that is so uninteresting that, you know, it'll make your mind to go discover some way of uh, thinking about something else. All of that stimulation will be good. I'm okay with all of that. We are thanking uh, Walk Fontana. I, I, I kept my commitment. <laughs> you can believe uh, Walk Fontana, Aquanetta Warren, and her group kept their commitment, and they gathered uh, at the Mary Vagel Nature Center yesterday morning, uh, well before 8 o'clock, so that at 8 o'clock they could begin their walk. Um, I arrived there in time to catch the tail end of the walk and, you know, do the whole deal with them. Something about getting up early in the morning, exercising, and, you know, getting your mind cleared up. I thought of five or six zillion dollar ideas. I'll share them with you sometime in the future. No, seriously, it, uh, it was a great experience. I look forward to doing it again. They are going to be doing another walk in December, December 15th. We'll talk to you about that as, you know, as time nears. But uh, that'll be at the Steelworkers building there on, on Sierra. Uh, that's where that's going to start. I'm pretty sure about that. Let me double double check. Um, yeah, at the Steel Workers Auditorium, December 15th, 8 a.m., right there at 8437 Sierra Avenue in uh, Fontana. They'll begin to walk. So you're invited to join in on that. That's, uh, that's a great experience, chance to talk to the mayor, chance to uh, meet a few city officials, and a great opportunity to meet some of your neighbors that you probably haven't spoke to as you walk by their house. You need to stop doing that. Yep, need to know who that is next door. You can uh, depend they're going to need some sugar or you are sooner or later. That works for you. Now, our commitment to get involved, to walk, to run, to do all of those things is very important. I know that you're involved in that, but it goes back again to your personal discipline, your self-discipline. You know, can you can you get up in the morning? Uh, I'm not a morning person. No, I mean, because I know a morning person, I can say that I am not a morning person. Uh, many people say they're not morning people just because they, you know, like to sleep late, which is good. But if you know a morning person, someone who likes to be sure that the sun is 
on time, so they get up a few minutes before the sun comes up, and they're checking to be sure. Yeah, I, I'm blessed to have a wife like that. She is uh, naturally up in the morning and out to school person. Uh, so she takes the credit for helping me get up and get to the walk yesterday, or she can if she wants to uh, take that credit. She's very inspiring in, in many ways. Uh, and we have to lean on our inspirations. And so right there, again, I say, Miss Josephine, I really appreciate you for a zillion reasons. And uh, I guess you being a morning person and me not being one is probably one of those one of those things. I, I, I can't say for sure. Um, but it, it definitely helps that you are a morning person. And I don't know, smelling that breakfast you cooked maybe helps me get up too. But physical and mental astuteness, those things have to work together. I'm uh, going to be speaking er a little later to Dr. Amsis Ma'at. Uh, he's going to talk to you a little bit about his job, and he's going to also talk to you a bit about his resort uh, that is developing out in Desert Hot Springs, and we'll also speak to Mrs. Ma'at, who has the magic touch when it comes to pain relief. So, this is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen. We'll be getting to those subjects as we go forward. We're going to take us a little break. And when we come back, I'll have some more interesting stuff for you to think about. I'm See young, you active, and in the best shape of my life. But I still know life can change in an instant. And when it does, I want to be prepared. That's why I have a health care plan through Cover California to cover life's unexpected moments. And having a plan that includes preventive care just makes sense. That means I don't pay extra for services like annual checkups, flu shots, and diabetes screenings. I like that. Covered California. It's more than just health care. It's life care. Visit CoveredCA.com to enroll or find free expert help. Enroll by December 15th. Publish your legal notice in West Side Story newspaper. For the best service and the best rates, call 909-384-8131. Publishing legal notices in the city and county of San Bernardino since 1990. West Side Story provides friendly expert service. Call 909-384-8131 to benefit from budget-friendly rates. Whether a fictitious business name, a name change, a divorce summons, or any other legal or public notice, call West Side Story newspaper, 909-384-8131. 909-384-8131. That's 909-384-8131. All right, we're back. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen. I'm checking on your on your mental and physical fitness status. Uh, we want you being uh, physically together so that you're mental is sharp. I like that uh, I'm uh, sitting. I really like not. I, I like that there are many people in the room smarter than me. You know, some of us want to be the smartest person in the room all the time. I, I'm I'm not finding that as a requirement. I really enjoy being around smarter people. Um, one of those smarter people is uh, going to join us on the phone, uh, Dr. Amsis Maat. Doc, how are you this morning? I'm feeling like my head is just getting so big I can't get it out of the room right now. Well, you know, that... Uh, <laughs> I have a solution for that, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. Doc, uh, I, I really enjoyed my my trip to Desert Hot Springs yesterday. I uh, finished off with a uh, almost vegan meal. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'd like to, t if, before we get going, I'd like for you to tell people who you are based on your daily work. Who, What do you do, and how long have you been doing it? Uh, my day job is that I'm a cardiovascular perfusionist, where I do life support for open heart surgery. Um, I've been doing that for 30 years. Uh, doing open heart surgery, the surgeon has to work on a heart that's no longer beating uh, so he can cut and sew carefully. And also we got to stop the lungs. So I have an artificial heart, artificial lungs, artificial kidneys to keep the person biologically alive while we stop the heart and stop them from breathing and they're clinically dead. I've been doing that for 30 years, and uh, I've been working throughout uh, Southern California and the United States. In fact, I've done this in Africa, uh, volunteer aspects and missions. 
And I love the one when I do. The science is fantastic. Uh, I've done some peer review uh, studies on various aspects on using these technologies for um, other ailments besides heart disease. And uh, it's, that's my day job. Very good. And we appreciate you for that job, and I hope you never have to work on me. But if I needed that support, I would feel very confident and uh, blessed to have you cover my life support issues. Mm. With your job, I mean, it's, you know, a after we do anything over a period of time, we become comfortable with it, and despite the uh, intricacies of it, uh, we have the ability to think about other things while we're doing it. Is that the case with you? Yeah. Uh, so this, I love the science of life support. And uh, being that we all have our period of time on life, then uh, first breath and last breath, and I experienced that many times. Uh, keeping people alive is not always successful when people's protoplasm and they get so old that uh, things don't, uh, you know, it's cutting so well. It's kind of like, like a, a rotten apple uh, trying to do things. Sometimes you just can't work on someone that's real sick. You uh, said, uh, so, excuse me, you, you said they get old. Uh, I'm, I would imagine that you've seen very young bodies act and perform as though they were old. Is that true? Oh, definitely. Some of the... Um, problems that people do many times is lifestyle uh, with smoking, drinking, and drugs, and steroids, and all that type of stuff that they do, uh, it makes their internal their body age, and they may look good on the outside mm -hmm. at times, uh, but their body is just aged away, and whenever you try to work on them, it's the age inside, and, and the lungs are black from cigarette smoking, and there's adhesions in places and, uh, you know, just organs that have been damaged. But it really goes into part of things that you had mentioned about size uh, living healthy. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you age gracefully and take care of your body temple. There's only a certain amount of breasts that we have in our lifetime. You want to extend those as much as possible rather than making it, you know, by doing crazy stuff. Uh, even even uh, there's people that don't wear seat belts and mm. uh, are in car crashes, <laughs> and uh, and we have to work on because their uh, the body stops, but their internal organs keep moving and get ripped. And the part of that is the heart getting ripped, the lungs getting ripped. And we have to do emergency surgery on those. Uh, so there's the whole lifestyle of eating, laughing, wearing seat belts. Uh, you know, praying, appreciating fresh air and uh, the colors of blue skies and green trees and and making sure that you don't get incarcerated so you don't get a chance to see those things. And So these uh, are all of the little things that run through your mind while you're watching life either, uh, well, it's it's fleeting, but you're rescuing it and, and keeping it there in your as you're doing your life support. But <clears throat> your job actually makes you value life more. From it's, my yeah, observation, the gratitude, yes, the gratitude and, and being able to enjoy a good friend and conversation and uh, family and travel and fishing and and martial arts and all that type of stuff. The breath is so, integral to appreciate things that when you see someone that's um, on a table because they uh, were sedimentary, drinking alcohol, um, eating potato chips all their life and and, and not uh, do any things that will make themselves be vital and have longevity. Now, uh, in, in, in defense of the uh, cultural sin, uh, many, most of us want to get along. Most of us want to, you know, be part of the in crowd. Uh, and the messaging that we are getting is that, you know, to, to, to do those things, you have to you have to you have to be willing to hurt yourself. You know you gotta <laughs> you gotta eat some things you don't necessarily know are good for you, and you gotta drink things, and you gotta do things, and you gotta. And right now we have to do it all in public thanks to social media. Uh, but 
as we're doing it, we're also in a position to, as you are, as you do the life support, we can't help but notice some things work and some things don't. Uh, Doc, you, you mentioned some, some cultural sins. Uh, what do you personally do as a result of looking at uh, life being held in your hands that belongs to someone else? And you know that doing a good job, you, you, you can bring them back to it. But how does that make you set a standard? And what is your standard for your personal physical condition and mental conditioning? Good question. That's, this involves integrity to answer this. There's people that are omnivores that can eat anything from snails to crickets to oink and everything else. Uh, I'm not that. Um, I am, I would say, uh, 50% vegan. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, well, 50%. I wish Tammy <laughs> was here to uh, help explain what a 50% vegan is, but, but understanding what we understand about the body yeah. and how, okay, I mean, there's, there's a way to count our breaths, the intake of oxygen, how long it takes for us to actually share that and be breathing the oxygen of everybody in the world uh, over a period of time. And, and we know that we re reinforce our body changes. The same body we have today is not the body we had uh, two weeks ago. Our, mm -hmm. our, our cells change, this, that, and the other. So all of that in defense of uh, trying to explain how you could be 50% vegan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I only eat, uh, only eat meat, what, once a uh, when? You know, I don't And, and uh, give it two weeks, uh, and it's all out of my system because my body changed. I'm not sure of the science on that and the specifics, but I know that if it's a good, strong emotional rationale, it can have almost the same effect as any other medicine that we take. Is that correct? I, I believe that's true. I mean, being the a power of the mind, I guess, is what yeah. I'm asking for your testimonial right. on. Okay, the hundred percent of nutrition is good. Doing nutrition is good, the best you can. Uh, I don't do the hundred percent raw, vegan stuff. I still eat dead animal, but whenever I do it, I make sure that I know there's toxins in that, and I'm able to you know how to, to detoxify my body. One of the ways that we detoxify our body the most is by breathing. And so um, I get up early and do my um, meditation. And uh, I, um, uh, before I was a life support specialist, I was uh, a martial artist. I had my black belt when I was 14, so I've done the breathing exercises that go along with the martial arts methods. So I do my exercises, my qigong, yoga, tai chi. People, the, I'm on uh, to that. That's uh, part of my ritual. Let, let me interrupt you again, uh -huh. because breathing is something we all think we know how to do. <laughs> and, and to demonstrate for someone that they've only been half breathing or quarter breathing, is to show them how to actually do a full breath. Mm -hmm. uh, describe to us what your breathing exercise is and the purpose of it. Oh, good. Uh, so to do the technique, it's easy just by putting your hands on your ribs and uh, where the, uh, as on the sides of your ribs, not in the front of your ribs. And as you exhale, you push your ribs in, and then when you inhale, you slowly expand your ribs all the way out. Then you can do that for a four count and, uh, on an inhale and a slow exhalation and squeeze your ribs all the way in for an uh, eight count. And you do that slowly for about 10 breaths, and you'll be able to feel the difference by taking deeper breaths. Uh, what that does is uh, it helps eliminate the carbon dioxide and improve the oxygenation into your body and uh, since most people take just regular tidal breaths small breaths as compared to deep slow long inhalations and exhalations like you would do when you're sleeping when you sleep you go and you're taking these long deep breaths compared to just the shallow breaths mm -hmm. that you do during waking time and that's why you're able to detox so much more when you're sleeping, you have that bad breath getting all that stuff out. So it's, it's important to pause during your day, 
And as you step away from the challenges of mundane life, you go back inside and say, I need to take a pause for myself. And the way you begin that is by deep breathing. Okay, the breath and the purpose of the breath is to bring oxygen into your bloodstream, uh, your cells, your, your veins and uh, uh, arteries and capillaries deliver that energy, that food to the smallest parts of your body. A yes. shallow breath doesn't force food to the smallest parts of your body. Whereas well, the, when I say force, and, and I think your deep breath, as you say, pushes and cleanses it out and pushes it so that you get oxygen everywhere. You have the opportunity mm-hmm. to get it everywhere. And the little capillaries in your brain, man, I guess a deep breath feeding that, somehow it tends to work. Deep breaths are not just automatic. Breathing isn't just automatic. If you put some thought into it, it can be mm-hmm. much more of a, a, a blessing throughout the day as opposed to, like you said, detoxing at night. We're talking about detoxing as we've also talked about some of the things that people do to themselves um, based on the excitement of life. I, I'm, I'm not wanting to judge anybody, and um, fortunately, I've, I've made it through a lot of different gates and doorways that uh, I would not suggest that everybody go through, but... I'm not a door or gatekeeper, uh, so my advice is be physically and mentally strong so that you can deal with things that you've never seen before mm. uh, and and to be sharp enough to recognize that you have seen many things before and that you've already have a, uh, a way of dealing with them, and maybe it's a good way or a bad way, but if you're sharp, you've got a better chance of picking the right door to uh, respond with. Uh, we're going to take a short break, uh, Dr. Maat. When we come back, I'd like to talk a little bit more about now what you are doing at uh, 150 30 Mountain View in terms of detoxing. Uh, and I'd also like to get uh, Mrs. Maat uh, on the phone and talk about her magic touch on pain relief. We'll do that okay. right after this short break. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen. We will be back right away. I'm young, active, and in the best shape of my life. But I still know life can change in an instant, and when it does, I want to be prepared. That's why I have a health care plan through Cover California, to cover life's unexpected moments. And having a plan that includes preventive care just makes sense. That means I don't pay extra for services like annual checkups, flu shots, and diabetes screenings. I like that. Covered California. It's more than just health care. It's life care. Visit CoveredCA.com to enroll or find free expert help. Enroll by December 15th. Publish your legal notice in West Side Story newspaper. For the best service and the best rates, call 909-384-8131. Publishing legal notices in the city and county of San Bernardino since 1990. West Side Story provides friendly expert service. Call 909-384-8131 to benefit from budget-friendly rates. Whether a fictitious business name, a name change, a divorce summons, or any other legal or public notice, call West Side Story newspaper, 909-384-8131. 909-384-8131. That's 909-384-8131. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, K292 FQ Riverside, and K293 CF Moreno Valley. We're back. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen, and I would recommend that if you've got a legal issue needing to uh, publish any of your legal notices, I don't want you to have to do a divorce, and I don't know why you want to change your name, and I'm not sure what's going on with the, uh, with the property, but if you've got to make a legal publication, uh, have your lawyer hook it up with West Side Story newspaper, greatest prices in town, and I can say that because I'm paid to say it. Well, I mean, that's my business. I publish right West Side on. Story newspaper, and I'm very proud of the fact that we have been serving you for over 30 years and uh, look very much forward to continuing that, both in print and in digital and in uh, 
video the whole deal. Anyway, we're here to help you. Glad you are been helping us for 30 years because I know that we wouldn't be here if it were not for you. Dr. Amsis Maat, uh, you have a facility, a home or resort there at uh, 15030 Mount View. Is it Mountain View or Mount View? Mountain View. Mountain View there in Desert Hot Springs. You have uh, the ability to do quite a few things that uh, can help people at your resort spa. Uh, I, th I guess we should just call it the Healthy Hill or the Health Hill. <laughs> that, that would be a great wheel, way of doing it. 150, 30 Mountain View for the Health Hill. Um, it's like everything else good. It doesn't just come to you easy. You've got a very interesting uh, driveway. goes up about, what is it, almost 45 degrees? No, uh, it's not that steep. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's like heaven when you get there, so I don't mind saying it's hard to get there. Um, but, like, yeah. Like a footstone hill or something like that. But, but it is a little slope, and uh, we are up on top of a mountain, and our view over Metro Palm Springs, Coachella Valley is Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, yes. we are at a bird's eyes view. We see the birds flying, and there we're sometimes above the birds. Um, we're above the telephone poles, all that type of stuff. We can see everything very well. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. And, and in fact, at the nighttime, uh, since we're in a rural area, the stars are just where you can touch them. The constellations are beautiful. Uh, the area that it is, uh, and is uh, surrounded by mountains and a patch of um, uh, trees that, along with the, f the facility, makes, when the wind does blow, it makes it a vortex. And we believe that we are in uh, sacred Indian holy ground as well. And so we have holy ground that we, um, the holy mountain area is in. And so we are honored to be the caretakers for this piece of earth. And in that, uh, there is uh, a hot mineral hot springs well that's at the uh, bottom. So in desert hot springs, you have a San Andreas fault going through it, and you have the water aqueduct on top of it that makes the hot springs. And so we are caretakers of a mineral hot spring well that we have pumped up into our system, and we have spas, we have uh, residences and things like that that uh, we're growing uh, fauna and plants out of this um, great resource of the, the, that God has blessed us with. I tell you, it um, it made me feel, uh, you know, I'm a pretty mellowed out person anyway. So when I'm driving down Mountain View to your address, I'm just really enjoying the uh, vista, the view, the whole, it's just beautiful. And uh, getting there and, and getting to the top of uh, Health Hill, uh, it's, it's, it was very refreshing. I could feel a difference in, in, I just felt uplifted. Of course, I'm just, I'm glad to see you, always glad to see you and your family. So, you know, maybe that's part of it. I'm not sure, but uh, I really encourage uh, you to continue doing what you're doing. So tell us more about your purpose there at, uh, at 15030. Well, we basically wanted to have that as um, a, a pain facility. Uh, there's people that go through trauma in life uh, with arthritis, fibromyalgia, and, and things. And uh, so my wife and I, uh, Kua, she has specialized in being a medical massage therapist, oncology uh, massage therapist, um, a clinical hypnotherapist. And along with what I do, on the allopathic aspect, although I have my doctorate in philosophy, and that's what, so we go into philosophizing about health and wellness and all that uh, goes along with what I do in, 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 in a regular hospital type stuff. So we blend these things here in a wellness center, and I'm sure she's around that can tell you a bit more about what she wants to do with the pain aspect. That's okay. I could put her on? Uh, we can do that. I'd, I'd like to, uh, yeah, let's do that now. Let's do that part now. Okay, here she goes. We are, we're talking. Hello there. Well, good morning. How are you? 
I'm doing fine. Good. Doing well. Thank do, you. Let's let's let uh, people know what you do uh, mm-hmm. now that you are not with a day job. Uh, <laughs> but let's let's talk about your goals and 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 contribution to healthy lifestyle. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm. Uh, Oncology, medical massage practitioner. I've been doing oncology massage. I'm actually one of the few people who can work on a patient, a client rather, that is in active treatment. I can actually go into the infusion centers and work on clients, and I've done that. And while they're actually getting chemo, uh, and if they have medical devices or ports or things of that nature, there's only a few people that are certified to work on someone. Usually when a massage therapist finds out a person has cancer, uh, they can only do certain things, mm. whereas I can actually work on a client that has medical devices. If they, Because the one thing about um, massage, which is funny because some people who may have cancer, they, they hurt, they're in a little pain. Well, they may have someone work on them, and if they're not familiar with a person's white blood cell count, if they've had blood clots, they can actually do more damage. Hmm. So some massage therapists won't even touch a person, whereas some will say, I'll do it. And they actually can, I mean, if, if you're sore, the last thing you need is a deep tissue massage if your white blood cell count is high. Um, I mean, so low, rather. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm recruiting the few white blood cells that are actually trying to fight the cancer to the site where I've just inflicted more pain from a deep tissue massage. So I'm one of the people that can actually do that. There's a few people that actually carry that type of certification. And then as far as medical massage, dealing with people who have injuries from auto injuries, um, more of your severe uh, injured clients. So they're, in, in many cases, they're trying to, they have a, a condition that is chronic, and they're trying to just find ways to maintain. To get rid of the pain, some type yeah. of way. <laughs> yeah. That's, now, as you, as you work with uh, massaging and, and working with uh, getting rid of pain, uh, there are some... Uh, some materials that uh, that you use, oils, etc. I'm not familiar with all of that, uh, but let's talk about some of the things you actually use t- topically to massage people with, and how they help get rid of the pain. I understand well, that uh, you've got quite a following in terms of people who are well, impressed by the way you rid them of pain. Well, I pr- I practice traditional medicine. Um, as far as herbalism, so a lot of what I use is combining some, because I'm Muscogee Creek, I'm actually a Muscogee Creek citizen, and then I also, my grandmother owned a farm, and then my mother, my on my mother's side, my grandmother was a midwife, so I learned a lot of different things, a lot of different herbs from from family, so growing up, a lot of what I do is utilizing um, traditional methods for pain. So the difference is we're not just, see, pain is an indicator that something's wrong. And the problem is most people just want to not feel the pain. Get rid of the symptom. They want to get rid of it, but the problem is, so, yeah, I don't feel, so maybe I'm taking, I don't know, I'm taking some cannabis or something like that, so I don't feel it, but that doesn't mean that I'm actually helping myself. Um, So what 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 I tell people is if you hurt and you need to take something so you don't feel it, then take it and sit down because you're hurt. <laughs> right. Just because you don't feel it doesn't mean you're injuring yourself. Well, so, ha- having played a, a sport that, uh, you know, injury was part of the deal, it's, mm-hmm. it's better sometimes to allow the pain to stay there because that will keep you under control. Uh, well, whereas if you, when, and, and I'm saying if you're involved in, <laughs> in, in a sport, if you're trying to play ball mm-hmm. uh, and you your leg hurts, they can give you something to make you don't hurt anymore, but that, that doesn't like, let you keep playing with a broken leg. Exactly. We and would and prefer it causes to, more injury. <laughs> absolutely. We, so but the pain ways. is. Yeah, there's right? actually ways that you can actually be injured 
And now they have kinesiology tape. There's so many things that I can support an injury, right? So that your it, it, the inflammation, if we can reduce the inflammation and help the body to start healing itself. And so there's a lot of things that can be done to reduce the inflammation so that you're able to work or do whatever that you have so that you can have a normal life. So it's, so we're not just talking about uh, arthritis or rheumatism. We're talking now about uh, uh, a bump, a, uh, something where you've hit yourself or hurt yourself. And we're talking about all of that. So all you can that. you can get rid of all of the infl- that type of inflammation, both uh, yeah. that that's coming from arthritis and some that's coming from the fact that you uh, hit your arm against the uh, car door. Yeah, and you know what's funny is I am so scientific based. Even though I do a lot of when it comes to traditional medicine, I am up on research. So I'm doing some of the latest research. So that's the the component of me that goes very medical, so I can switch very allopathically. The only difference is I'm looking at, okay, um, even if you have a doctor working in conjunction of what your doctor is saying you need, and then I'm saying, okay, let's do this. Let's make sure you're getting these appropriate supplements, or let's make sure that I stabilize your joint and that you're able to be stable. You're not inflaming yourself even worse. And so, yeah, if you're in pain, sit down if you have to take that pain medication, but sit still. And then let's start working on your inflammation and let's do some other things and eventually you don't need it. So the bottom line, we don't get, we get rid of the pain, but we start by honoring it and respecting that you hurt. And if we respect that you hurt, then we say, no, we're not just going to immediately try to take it away. We're going to try to see what can we do to reduce it hmm. and make it tolerable. And then because once we can get your inflammation down, then we can actually get the body to start kicking in the hill. So, for instance, say your leg swells because you bumped your knee or something. Like that. Okay. Well, the swelling is an actual, your body's way of, of making its own, <laughs> it's making its own way of keeping the, the whole joint still. So it's making its own shock absorber. Okay. So your body is already designed to, okay, something's wrong, so it swells up because it wants you to That's why it does that. Now, what can I do to help stabilize it and keep it still? We're going to go back. In the process. Mr. Uh, Cool, uh, we're going to uh, go back to uh, the swollen knee right after this break. And you're going to get the chance again to explain how we're going to work past that swollen knee to uh, feeling better. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm speaking with uh, Akua Amat. She is uh, a health practitioner. She's a massage therapist of the highest degree. And uh, she's there in Desert Hot Springs on Hell's Hill. A place that you can access to get rid of your pains, your stress, a chance to detox under the uh, supervision of people who care. We'll be back right after this short break, and we are going to further explore the resources to reduce your pain and stress and to make your life whole so that you can be physically fit enough to deal with the mental cultural social issues that we have in front of us every day i don't want us acting a fool at the intersection we need to be better see you right after this short break i'm young active and in the best shape of my life but i still know life can change in an instant and when it does i want to be prepared that's why i have a health care plan through cover california to cover life's unexpected moments and having a plan that includes preventive care just makes sense That means I don't pay extra for services like annual checkups, flu shots, and diabetes screenings. I like that. Covered California. It's more than just health care. It's life care. Visit CoveredCA.com to enroll or find free expert help. Enroll by December 15th. Publish your legal notice in West Side Story newspaper. For the best service and the best rates, call 909-384-8131. Publishing legal notices in the city and county of San Bernardino since 1990. West Side Story provides friendly expert service. Call 909-384-8131 to benefit from budget-friendly rates. Whether a fictitious business name 
a name change, a divorce summons, or any other legal or public notice, call West Side Story Newspaper, 909-384-8131. 909-384-8131. That's 909-384-8131. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen. I would sit here and tell you that during the break I did 100 push-ups, but I didn't. And if you're watching the, uh, watch me on the stream, you'd know that I didn't. And uh, so I'm not the kind of person to lie to you, but I should have done at least 25 during the break. That would have been, you know, a demonstration that I'm here taking advantage of the uh, opportunity. And that's what we've got to do. Folks, man, when you don't feel good, you, you, the first thing we're willing to do is go put a bunch of chemicals in our body that somebody said were good, and hopefully as we stack them on top of each other, uh, they're not going to have negative effects on each other, and maybe we'll feel better. Nothing common about common sense. Boy, people have been getting ill and well long before those chemicals arrived, and some of those solutions are still the best solutions. I don't know. All of them are, and I think individually we all need to be checked before we determine that there is a specific way or a better way to take care of it, boy. But if you wait till there's a big emergency, you got to you got to deal with what people bring. Uh, start taking care of yourself so that you can read the indicators that there may be something wrong and move toward getting them solved and making the life change that uh, will put you on the track uh, to healthy living. I'm speaking to uh, Akua Mat. Uh, she is one of those people who have special information because she spent special time doing special research uh, to be able to talk to you about alternative ways of uh, maintaining your health. Uh, before the break, we were talking about what happens when you have a swollen knee, and uh, she was using that as an example, too. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. So okay. what I was saying mm -hmm. is the body is so divine. So when you have an injury, your body sends all these chemical messages, and well, let's save the knee in the case of an arthritis. Let's right? save so the knee. <laughs> so we're talking about our knee is now filling to where we're just almost bone on bone and it hurts, and it swells. So the typical response for most people is to take a pain, some pain medication so that they won't feel it, and then they keep walking. No, somebody's got to give them that medication. That means they went to a well, doctor, somebody doctor, analyzed it, and said, well, you know, we got something we can. Well, anyway, go ahead. Exactly. So here's the deal. Before we had the, when we didn't have the ability to go to a doctor, we had grandma, we had all these other things, we had other solutions. That the root we lady. <laughs> the, yeah, you can say the root lady if you want to, but grandma always uh, had a cure. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm uh, very affectionate with my uh, term root lady. Mm -hmm. and, and so if the body is already creating a shock absorber, it's saying it needs to stay still. So that is why it swells. So now if I honor the fact of what my body is saying, I do a couple of things. One, to reduce the swelling, because once I reduce the swelling, then the body can send a different message and start to heal the injury. Right mm -hmm. now the swelling is saying, let's stay still. Let's not move, and, you know, let's assess what's going on. Okay. So now if I support it, and like I said, there's kinesiology tape, there's all these different things that where you can actually support the knee to keep it to where it's a little bit stable. Now, you can also, at this point, start adding or doing things, reduce it, and that's how they have the rest, the, the different recipes they come up, the rice, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. rest, rest uh, ice, all the different things of that nature. We're honoring it by sitting still, stabilizing it, and then determining what the body needs. So once we're able to get the swelling down, we're able to uh, get the body to start healing itself. When you get the swelling down, there's so many different things that you can do internally so you can support your lymphatic system, which is what actually causes the swelling, and you can support it so that it can heal quicker. And My goodness. Just, and it's as simple as eating proper foods, it's as simple as there's so many things on the market, turmeric, 
there's so many different things that are on the market that actually give your body um, the support it needs to heal itself. Uh, could I get you to talk about? <laughs> could I get you uh, to talk about inflammation? Our okay. sources of infl inflammation and what is the damage of inflammation? Why why is that such an issue in most of our our uh, health profiles? Well, that's kind of that's that that's what it is basically. The body becomes inflamed because the body is actually trying to get whatever's going on still. So it, it's creating that's the body's natural response to an injury or to something going on. Okay. The difference with inflammation is when the body stays in that response that the body doesn't heal itself. Now, there's so some you, things that have demonstrated themselves as being uh, helpful, uh, solutionary to that issue, uh, pulses, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, salves and things of that sort. What do you use? What do you recommend? How do you recommend people deal with their arthritic pain other than coming to see you? Or if they came to see you, what would you do? Well, if they didn't come to see me, one of the biggest, biggest contributors to chronic inflammation is sugar. And one of the best things to offset, and usually when a person wants a bunch of sugar, is because their body is lacking vitamins and nutrients. So if a, a person eats a lot of sugar and they love it and they're, they're on their sweets, that's one of the main, main chronic um, causes of inflammation. Well, the irony of um, taking sugars is because your body's not getting nutrients. And the reason why you're not getting nutrients is be for whatever reason, say if you're chronically stressed or if you're chronically, um, you just have a busy, busy lifetime, you don't have time to sit down and eat a nice, healthy meal. But your body will burn that sugar. But your body takes the sugar and wants the sugar. It's a quite natural response because you're not giving me what I need, so I'm going to take what I need. And I'm going to, to um, well, even utilize given that. The choice, given the choice of uh, burning the sugar or the really good nutrient that uh, we just, I was talking to a very, uh, a very powerful philosophical genius earlier today who was discussing the 50% vegan in them. <laughs> 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 so, so, so the reality of that principle is sugar and nutrients, given the choice, which one does your body reach for first? Well, your body reach, reaches for whatever you give it. Whatever's in and, line. And so if you, like, say you're in a state of chronic stress, and you just, your life is, a lot of things have been really hard and hidden on a person a lot. Death in the family, work, just normal stress stuff. all around. Normal <laughs> just stuff. normal stuff. Yeah. And so... Um, the natural thing that happens in your body is you go into a, a fight or flight response, right? So your body starts creating certain chemicals and it reduces. One of the main things that happens is your body doesn't create that much stomach acid. So when you get past 40, you don't make as much stomach acid. And then if you're really stressed, you really don't make that much stomach acid. So then what happens is there's like a cascade of biological exchanges that occur, and one of the things is whatever you eat doesn't get broken down properly. So, and so um, that is why people tend to, their, you know, their stomach gets upset. They have all these different things that happen. So they'll just go grab a cookie right quick, and they'll get the energy from that. Well, the problem is there's no nutrients. And, and we're and looking at the create. basic, the basic. Uh, I don't know. We, I don't know if we say the heart is the engine and the stomach, but the stomach is the, is the beginning of the gas the stomach tank. Stomach is the beginning of everything. Yeah. So, so <laughs> we can see that first. if that if that's going to be a problem, uh, I mean, it, it starts off with st with emotional stress as well as the physical issues. Um, mm -hmm. All of these are things that, you know, a, as we look at it. And we say that we need to be healthy, uh, we need to be in condition, we need to have a healthy mind. Uh, physical issues, stress, e emotional issues, all of those are things that, that are just as powerful as each other in terms of being able to throw us off balance. Uh, you know what I, I tell people? I tell people, when times get tough, get bitter. And when I mean bitter, I mean your foods need to be bitter. Add more bitter foods into your life. Bitter foods 
send a different chemical message to your body. It actually helps the lymphatic system. It actually keeps you from getting sick. So if you're if you're stressful, <laughs> if you're stress dealing with a lot of things emotionally, get bitter, but from a food stamp. So there's all kinds of foods that you can eat that have a little bit of a bitter taste. You just need that taste maybe about 15 minutes before you eat. And that sends a different chemical message to your body that allows your body to break down foods properly. That reduces in inflammation. And the funny thing about it is you not wanting sugar. And if you do eat something sweet, you barely eat any of it because you're like, wow, that's way too sweet. How can people get in touch with you? Um, you can reach us at nanazarator.com, and that's N-A-N-A-S, Z as in zebra, A-R-A-T-O-R.com. Or my phone number is 951-552-3923. So once again, nanazarator.com. Let's, let's go with the phone number. They're going to be able to get that. <laughs> That's easier, yeah. 951-552-3923. 3923. We're dealing so with the... That's the motto. Get bitter. We're, we're <laughs> get dealing, bitter. Uh, if they've got pain... If uh, well, here's what we're offering here. We're, we're offering people who've got professional backgrounds in in health, uh, people mm -hmm. who are loving and caring and who respect tradition, and people who uh, have access to a beautiful property that is stress relieving in itself. Uh, boldly called Health Hill by the radio guy, uh, folks. I think it's it's a good idea if you if you've got some stress. Uh, if you're a party person, uh, if you're one of those guys like uh, most of us used to be, if we're not still that because we, you know, we got old and we're, but we, we're not clubbing every night. I'm not under the pressure to, you know, get along with my clients and, you know, go out drinking and eating three, four times a day. Uh, some of you are, and I'm not passing any judgment on it, but your body may be. Uh, you may not be a alcoholic but you may indeed need detoxing. You may not be uh, a glutton, but you may be eating too much of things that don't really care that much about you. Uh, detoxing, putting your body in balance is what we're talking about. So I say give them a call. That's the, the Ma'at family, 951-552-3923. That's for 15030 Mountain View. Desert Hot Springs, California. I call it Hilt Hill. Great place for you to check it out. 951-552-3923. Either person answering the phone will be a blessing to you. This is Empire Talks Back. I'm Wallace Allen. Get healthy, folks. I mean, you're working really hard to do it the other way. Just a little bit of energy toward being healthy will make it work. Hey, I'm going to leave now and go do some push-ups. Well, I'll go do a couple. Hey, see you guys next week under two circumstances. One, if the good Lord's willing. Two, if the creek don't rise. Hey, and if it does, be strong enough to swim across. We'll be back. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM. Your NBC Sports Radio update starts now. Week 11 is rolling. I'm Jeff Biggs, and the seven early games are underway for Week 11 Sunday in the NFL, including the Cowboys and the Falcons, who were tied 3-3. That is in the second quarter with about 6-10 left to go. Also, the Panthers and the Lions are tied 7-7. That's late in the second quarter in Detroit. Cam Newton, a touchdown pass to Greg Olson. Also, Kerryon Johnson, a touchdown run for the Lions. The Colts. Went for the Philly special. They tried to get Eric Ebron to throw to Andrew Luck. Didn't get it. Had to settle for an Adam Vinatieri field goal.